No visit to Ecuador is complete without a trip to the Galapagos Islands. But that crap is expensive. So we went to the poor man's Galapagos. Isla de la Plata. It's so amazing. It's so wonderful. Look at the sea. And we saw boobies. Many boobies and baby boobies. This island is absolutely <laughs> covered in blue-footed boobies. Every nook and cranny as far as the eye can see. We saw the whole blue-footed booby circle of life. And we realized that this uh, foot color is absolutely essential to social lives, even if it's completely useless in every other aspect of life. Now the ladies, they love the blue feet. So what they do, uh, the men, they, they don't walk like a normal bird. They do this very specific uh, little walk like this that shows off their feet as much as possible. Because the ladies, they, they really go for it. Then you see the pale-footed boobies. that uh, They don't flamboyantly dance their feet around. They just stand all depressed like this, staring at their own feet with low self-esteem. Now, boobies mate for life, and they propose much like humans do, except that they start off with their little uh, foot dance and then present a small twig or stone to the female, and if she takes it, that's a yes. Uh, thing was, all the birds we saw getting yes answers and sitting in nests raising babies had bright feet, and all the pale colored ones we saw were sitting in bushes alone looking depressed. Someone gave me a mission to prove evolution. And to me, that's all evolution is. Every generation there's more blue feet because the ladies like them. They don't actually do anything, so there's no reason for them to have been designed that way. But one big rebuttal I've heard to the theory of evolution is, if humans evolved for monkeys, why are there still monkeys? That's because you can't live in a tree, and a monkey can. I'm gonna go off on a tangent here and bring it back around. McDonald's in India is a vegetarian restaurant. That's because when they opened a regular McDonald's in India, it failed miserably. There's so many vegetarians and people were rioting for selling uh, what's a holy animal in their country. So they had to evolve their menu. But if there's a vegetarian McDonald's, why is there still a Big Mac? Because the Big Mac sells well in the U.S. and everywhere else in the world. So monkeys were doing just fine in the trees eating bananas, but then when the monkeys got in a place where there were no trees and no bananas, they needed to change the way they live. They needed to adapt. And that's what they did. Life on this planet isn't perfectly designed. We got birds with blue feet for no reason and pretty much every species has weird leftover body parts that don't do anything. It's just the product of a bunch of things adapting and changing and seeing what sticks and we got some pretty cool creatures out of it. I'm here at the Parque de las Iguanas in Guayaquil to talk to the experts about evolution. Um, tell me, I noticed you're a freaky ugly thing. What did you evolve from exactly? There are lots of iguana here. So does looking this way give you some sort of evolutionary benefit, help you some way in nature? Like do predators just look at you and be like, oh god, I don't want to touch that. Whoa! Whoa, look at that! Hola, mucho gusto! Now, personally, I can't imagine that you look that way on purpose. Uh, uh, wait, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, sir. It's just a question. Hola, here. So, if you were designed by a higher power, was he like messing with you? Was it a joke or, or what? Personally, if I were creating all the life on Earth, um, I'm not sure that you are quite what I'd make. What do you, what do you have to say about that? Bird iguana, which one of you is more related to a dinosaur? Discuss. So they say that your ancestors are raptors and T-Rexes and stuff, and you're a pigeon. Do you ever feel like you got totally screwed on that one? You, sir, are adorable. I guess it's not really a question, but that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for answering my questions. I appreciate it. No answers back there. I guess that being helpful didn't have any kind of evolutionary benefit for any of those guys.